Natchitoches, Louisiana, Natchitoches, N.A.K. a Tish French, Les Natchitoches, is a small city and the parish seat of Natchitoches Parish, Louisiana, United States. Established in 1714 by Louis Juchereau de St. Denis as part of French Louisiana, the community was named after the indigenous Natchitoches people. The city of Natchitoches was incorporated on February 5, 1819, after Louisiana had become a state in 1812. It is the oldest permanent settlement in the land acquired by the Louisiana Purchase. Natchitoches is home to Northwestern State University. Its sister city is Natchitoches, Texas. History Early Years Natchitoches was established in 1714 by French explorer Louis Juchereau de Saint Denis. It is the oldest permanent European settlement within the borders of the 1803 Louisiana Purchase. Natchitoches was founded as a French outpost on the Red River for trade with Spanish controlled Mexico. French traders settled there as early as 1699. The post was established near a village of Natchitoches Indians, after whom the city was named. Early settlers were French Catholic immigrants and Creoles originally meaning those ethnic French born in the colony. French Creoles acquired lands that were developed in the antebellum years as cotton-producing magnolia plantation and Oakland plantation. Each has been preserved and is designated as a national historic landmark. After the United States-Louisiana Purchase of 1803, migration into the territory increased from the U.S. Natchitoches grew along with the population in the parish. Initially, the Americans were primarily of English and Scots-Irish ancestry and of Protestant faith. They developed several cotton plantations along the Red River. Numerous enslaved African Americans were brought to the area through the domestic slave trade to work the cotton, and provide all other skills on these plantations, generating the revenues for the wealthy planters before the Civil War. In the 1820s and early 1830s, Natchitoches also served as a freight transfer point for cotton shipped from parts of East Texas. Cotton shippers used a land route crossing the Sabine River to Natchitoches, where the freight was transferred to boats and floated down the Red River to New Orleans. When the course of the Red River shifted, it bypassed Natchitoches and cut off its lucrative connection with the Mississippi River. A 33-mile 53 km Oxbow Lake was left in the river's previous location, which became known as Cane River Lake. Civil War During the Civil War, Natchitoches was set on fire by Union soldiers who retreated through the town after their failed attempt to capture Shreveport. Confederate cavalry pursued the fleeing soldiers and arrived in time to help extinguish the flames before the town was destroyed. Alexandria was destroyed by Union troops in 1864, but both Union and Confederate troops were responsible for severely damaging plantations along the river during the war, including Magnolia and Oakland. In the spring of 1863, Confederate General Richard Taylor and his men passed through Natchitoches en route to Shreveport. Andrew W. Hyatt, one of Taylor's line officers, wrote in his diary, reaching the banks of Cane River, We are now on a regular race from the enemy, and are bound for Grand Accor. Three days later, on May 11, 1863, Hyatt penned, We have now retreated 280 miles. Natchitoches is quite a town, and the galleries were crowded with pretty women, who waved us a kind reception as we passed through the town. Around Natchitoches, 12,556 bales of Confederate cotton were sold. A match factory also opened in the city during the war. The residents of Natchitoches often engaged in fundraising activities to relieve the destitute during the war. Historian John D. Winters observed, Ignat parties and other social affairs during the Christmas holiday season lifted the morale of civilians, as well as that of the soldiers. Reconstruction Radford Blunt published the Natchitoches Republican. He was also a candidate for the state legislature. William H. Tunnard edited the paper. 20th Century As the parish seat, 
Natchitoches suffered from the decline in agricultural population through the mid-20th century and grew at a markedly lower rate after 1960. The mechanization of agriculture had reduced the number of workers needed and many moved to cities for jobs. By the early 1970s, the town's businesses were declining, along with many area farms and buildings were boarded up. In the mid minutes 1970s, Mayor Bobby de Blux and other preservationists believed that attracting tourists to the area, based on its historic assets of nearly intact plantations and numerous historic buildings, could be a key to attracting visitors, reviving the town, and stimulating new businesses. Over the years, he worked with a variety of landowners and local people to gain support for designating an historic district in the city. He also supported making a national park out of the working area of Magnolia Plantation, which had many surviving outbuildings from the 19th century, and from Oakland Plantation, both downriver in the parish. By the end of the 20th century, the mile-long French colonial area of downtown, which lies along Cane Lake, was designated as a National Historic District. Many buildings were adapted as antique shops, restaurants, and souvenir emporiums. To accommodate tourists, the town had 32 bed and breakfast inns, the highest in the state. By 2018, that number had increased to 50. The plantation country surrounds Cane River Lake. The markedly intact downriver Magnolia and Oakland plantations were designated as National Historic Landmarks and are part of what has been developed as the Cane River Creole National Historical Park, which was authorized in 1994 with the support of U.S. Senator J. Bennett Johnston. He was a cousin by marriage of Betty Herzog, the last of the family to live in the Great House at Magnolia. Tours and interpretive programs at both sites continue to attract visitors especially as they grapple with telling the difficult history of slavery and its aftermath at the plantations. They also cover the contributions of blacks and creoles of color to the community. Since the late 20th century, the 35-mile Oxbow Lake has served as the spring break training location for numerous university crew teams from schools such as the University of St. Thomas, Kansas State University, University of Kansas, Wichita State University, Murray State University, University of Central Oklahoma, and in the spring of 2018, LSU. Alabama, Texas, and Georgia were also represented. Tourists interested in sports often visit in this period to watch the sports teams. Over the years, the city and parish have improved conditions with a riverbank stabilization project and a water pump project to improve water levels in the lake. This directs water from Hampton Lake into Bayou Passiant, which feeds Cane River Lake. In March 1965, nine children were among 17 people killed in a natural gas pipeline explosion. Natchitoches was the site of the 1973 plane crash that claimed the life of singer-songwriter Jim Cross. Cross had performed a concert on campus for Northwestern State University students at Prather Coliseum. He was killed less than an hour later in a plane headed to Sherman, Texas. The crash may have been a result of the pilot suffering a fatal heart attack. 21st Century In 2005, the cartoonist and historian Pap Dean published Historic Natchitoches, Beauty of the Cane, a study of the history, people, and attractions of the historic city. Harrisonburg, the seat of Catahoula Parish is the other earliest French settlement in the state. Natchitoches is the home of the oldest general store in Louisiana, the still operating Cafe Frederick, Inc. The store was co founded in 1863 by ancestors of Alexandria businessmen and former city commissioner Arnold Jack Rosenthal, 1923 2010. It has been featured in several nationally televised reality shows such as Duck Dynasty and Cajun Pawn, with the words, if you can't find it anywhere else, you can probably find it at Cafe Frederick. Geography, geography, geography. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 25.1 square miles, 65 km2, of which 21.6 square miles, 56 km2 are land, 
and 3.6 square miles 9.3 km to 14.21 percent are covered by water. A 35-mile-long 56 km lake was formed from a portion of the Red River when it changed course. It is now known as Cane River Lake. The municipal water supply comes from nearby Sibley Lake, a formerly drained wetland dammed in 1962, which also offers fishing and boating. Geology, Geology Soils in this area are a combination of leaf mold and red clays, sand and sediments. The area is part of the Chestnut Salt Dome. Cityscape Though Natchitoches has few multi-story buildings, it has retained much of its historic European-style architecture listed on the National Register of Historic Places as the Natchitoches Historic District. The city is a mesh of wrought iron, stucco, and red brick. The city still has one of the original brick streets, Front Street, which the Historical Society protects from alterations. The city of Natchitoches recently completed a restoration project to repair the century-old brick street. During this process, workers removed each brick one by one, numbered it, cleaned it, and then replaced it after utilities, drainage, and the foundation were repaired beneath. Climate Weather-wise, Natchitoches lies in a boundary region that separates the plains of Texas from the consistently humid Gulf Coast. This gives summers both heat and humidity. Winters in Natchitoches are relatively mild, with measurable snowfall once every 5-10 years. Natchitoches averages 54.93 inches 1395 mm of rain per year. The city is in an area that frequently experiences severe thunderstorms, hail damaging winds, and tornadoes. Demographics 2020 Census As of the 2020 United States Census, there were 18,039 people, 6,222 households, and 2773 families residing in the city. 2010 Census as of the 2010 census, 18,323 people, 6,705 households, and 3,631 families were residing in the city. The population density was 828.5 inhabitants per square mile, 319.9 km2. The 7,906 housing units averaged 312.2 per SQ my 120.5 slash km2. The racial makeup of the city was 59.0% African American, 36.4% White, 0.5% Native American, 0.6% Asian, 0.42% from other races, and 1.5% from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos of any race was 1.7% of the population. Of the 6,113 households, 30.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 34.3% were married couples living together, 21.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.6% were not families. About 30.8% of all households were made up of individuals, and 11.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.50, and the average family size was 3.18. In the city, the age distribution was 23.6% under the age of 18, 27.2% from 18 to 24, 21.8% from 25 to 44, 16.0% from 45 to 64, and 11.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 24.5 years. For every 100 females, there were 85.0 males. For every 100 females aged 18 and over, there were 80.2 males. The median income for a household in the city was $23,261, and for a family was $30,396. Males had a median income of $28,601 versus $17,859 for females.
the per capita income for the city was $12,642. About 26.7% of families and 34.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 45.0% of those under age 18 and 19.2% of those aged 65 or over. Economy Following continued population decline in the area, in part due to mechanization of agriculture, by the 1970s, Natchitoches had suffered an economic downturn that resulted in a 65% vacancy in the commercial district. Because of efforts to revitalize the city and emphasize its unique historic assets, as described above, vacancy is now about 1%. The port of Natchitoches, a river port on the Red River, is located off the eastbound part of U.S. Route 84, just outside Natchitoches. The port exports lumber from yards on site, as forestry is a major industry in the area, as well. Natchitoches Regional Airport serves cities via FBO such as Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Dallas, Houston, Little Rock, Monroe, and Shreveport. It is adjacent to Northwestern State University. Together, they offer flight training. The airport is under renovation to become one of the country's most advanced non-towered airports. The Natchitoches National Fish Hatchery is based here. They handle over six species of fish and other wildlife. The parish attracts numerous sports fishermen during the seasons. The Natchitoches Christmas Festival is a well-known celebration of the holidays for locals. The festival is held on the river. Since completion of Interstate 49, many businesses have either moved or have been built outside the city's central area. Gas stations and hotels have developed in this area and serve many of the Natchitoches Christmas Festival visitors. In 1998, Natchitoches was named one of the top six places in the United States to retire by Kiplinger's personal finance magazine. Tourism the Kikane River National Heritage Area is a 116,000-acre 470 km2 area, which includes many sites such as Oakland Plantation, Melrose Plantation, Baden Rock House, Magnolia Plantation, Kate Choppin House, Cherokee Plantation, Kane River Heritage Scenic Byway, Fort St. Jean Bay. Because of this richness of culture, the area is one of the destinations on the Louisiana African American Heritage Trail newly designated by the state. Natchitoches, a popular tourism area of the state, is equipped to serve visitors with 11 national chain hotels and 27 bed and breakfast inns including the Steel Magnolia House. Natchitoches attracts over 1 million visitors annually. The city is known as a retiree-friendly city. In 2006, Natchitoches was awarded the Great American Main Street Award for the effort the community has put into revitalizing and restoring much of the historic district. The city's tourism center is the Downtown River Walk. This includes Front Street, which becomes Jefferson at the Texas Street Light. Front Street is the jewel of the city. It overlooks the River Walk and is bordered by an assortment of shops and boutiques. The city has identified this area as its historical district. The Historical Society maintains the area through regulations on changes and restorations. Natchitoches has a mini walk of fame located in the historical district of the city. While visiting the area, tourists may notice many unusual structures. These are many of the Natchitoches Christmas Festival lights. The city recently built a small convention center located on 2nd Street, which holds many city events. The Bayou Pier Alligator Park is a major tourist attraction where tourists may feed the alligators and dine and shop. The park teaches school children to respect nature and to conserve its many habitats. Natchitoches is home to a branch of the Kisatchee National Forest, a designation promoted by naturalist Caroline Dorman to preserve regional natural wonders. Opened December 2005, located at 752nd Street, the facility has a 40,000 square foot 3,000. National Guard Arts and Culture The Natchitoches meat pie is one of the official state foods of Louisiana. It is known as a regional delicacy of North Louisiana. See List of U.S. State Foods.
Natchitoches has long been known for its popular Christmas lighting festival, which is held the first Saturday in December. The lights continue to brighten the Cane River until after New Year's Day. In 2019, the festival celebrated its 93rd year. Education Colleges and Universities Northwestern State University Louisiana Scholars College Louisiana Technical College, the Northwestern campus, is also home to the Louisiana Scholars College, the state's designated honors college for the study of the liberal arts and sciences. As a part of its effort to become a global campus, NSU is a sister university with many universities in Asia. Natchitoches Parish is in the service area of Bossier Parish Community College. Primary and Secondary Schools Public Schools Natchitoches Parish School Board operates many public schools. They include East Natchitoches Elementary slash Middle School, George L. Parks Elementary Area Elementary Area, Parks Elementary Area 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 L. P. Vaughn Elementary or Elementary or Elementary or Elementary or Elementary. M. R. Weaver Elementary or Elementary or Elementary or Elementary or Elementary. N. S. U. Elementary slash Middle Laboratory School. Natchitoches Junior High Frankie Ray Jackson School. Natchitoches Magnet School. Natchitoches Central High School. The city is also home to the Louisiana School for Math, Science, and the Arts, a public residential honors high school. Private Schools St. Mary's High School is in Natchitoches. Media Newspaper Natchitoches Times Radio The only AM radio station based in Natchitoches is Not 1450, a classic country music station. FM Broadcasting Infrastructure Health care. Natchitoches Regional Medical Center is a 78-bed facility that includes 45 medical-slash-surgical beds and a 112-bed skilled nursing home. Rehabilitation treatment is at the PRISM Center for Physical, Occupational and Speech Therapy, Sports Medicine, Industrial Medicine, Wound Care, and more. Notable People Noted Events Natchitoches was the site of a gas pipeline explosion on March 4, 1965 that killed 17 people. In 1973, singer-songwriter Jim Cross was killed when his plane crashed as it was leaving Natchitoches Regional Airport. Natchitoches received numerous New Orleans evacuees due to Hurricane Katrina 2005. Many college students from New Orleans were transferred to Northwestern State University to continue their education. In popular culture, multiple movies have been filmed here including The Horse Soldiers 1959, starring William Holden and John Wayne, Cane River Film 1982, Horace B. Jenkins filmed Cane River in New Orleans and Natchitoches Parish, Steel Magnolias 1989, Starring Julia Roberts, Sally Field, Darrell Hannah, Shirley MacLaine, Dolly Parton, and Olympia Dukakis, The Man in the Moon 1991, starring Reese Witherspoon, Jason London, Sam Waterston, and Tess Harper, Twelve Years a Slave 2013, four historic antebellum plantations were used in the film, Felicity, Magnolia, Ockage, and Distrahan. Magnolia, a plantation in Natchitoches, Louisiana, is just a few miles from one of the historic sites where Northup was held. To know that we were right there in the place where these things occurred was so powerful and emotional, said actor Chuetel Ijiofer. That feeling of dancing with ghosts, it's palpable.